Hi, it's George Cow. Today I want to talk with you about authentic marketing. There are many reasons why people don't like marketing and one of those reasons, uh, the way I like to articulate it is that marketing, a lot of marketing tends to hold people's desires ransom unless they pay for the product or service. Then your desires will be met. Then you're going to be okay then you will be happy again. And this is one of the things I don't like about tra traditional marketing is that it is actually taught to traditional marketers to increase demand. In other words, to stoke the fires of desire from your potential customer or client so that you end up being the only way they can fulfill those desires. Okay? And I don't think that's authentic, I don't think that's ethical or spiritual um, because we human beings have so many desires already. Uh, desires turn into burdens and so when traditional marketers hold our desires ransom, they, they increase our desire and then hold it ransom using the product or services, you must buy this in order to be fine, in order to um, not feel the fear of missing out, F-O-M-O, -O, fear of missing out, to not be in pain anymore, to um, not feel the fear of being in future pain, okay? You must buy the service or product, and I am the only, this, my product or service is the only solution, right? You've seen that, this is the only way, the only solution that you must get in order to be okay, essentially, is what they're saying, to be emotionally um, equanimous again, to have equanimity, in, to have inner peace again, is you must buy the service or product, right? I mean, they don't say it in that way, but they're basically suggesting that. And I'm, I'm not okay with that. I, I used to use such tactics when I was learning from the traditional marketers and the internet marketers, but I no longer, um, I, I see the, the fallacy of that way and I no longer do that. And I'm now speaking out against it so that we can all become more aware of that as conscious consumers but also as authentic marketers and ethical marketers that we can stop using that so what is a better alternative let me share that with you a better alternative I think is for us business owners to serve generously in a way that's sustainable for us so this is up to you as a business owner to learn how to be generous while being personally sustainable and this takes some designing of your offerings so that you are sharing for free what is infinitely scalable without your effort and there goes my <laughs> sweet little dog buddy so for example when I make this video I take a few minutes to make this video but it doesn't matter how many people watch it it could be a dozen people who watch it it could be a million people who watch it I put it on Facebook and YouTube it doesn't cost me any more time the more people watch it right that just take took me a few minutes to make it and upload it so find ways to generously serve in a way that's sustainable to you and here's the key then is to let your audience buy out of gratitude out of gratitude and thankfulness and buying something that is the right fit for them and that's also your job as a business owner is to create product and services that are the right fit for the right people that your that your ideal audience okay don't expect that just because you've given so generously that anything you offer they should they should pony up their dollars and buy no 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 you need to understand your audience well enough and to understand what truly you can offer that is not just something you can give for free but that's that does take your time like for me it's one-to-one -one coaching it's I cannot give this to infinite numbers of people I can only give it to a limited number so therefore it makes sense to charge for it and also I, I charge for small group mastermind calls because I can't do that with infinite numbers so find a way to generously serve that is personally sustainable and then get to know your audience so that you can design the services that are truly what they need and what they want okay and do not use 
FOMO marketing, fear of missing out marketing. Okay, invite them, invite the right people to buy the right things and generally, generously serve everyone. I hope this is encouraging for you. I'm always open to your comments, your ideas for how we can do marketing more authentically, ethically, in a way that truly makes our heart full. And also, I'm always open to your questions. Until the next video, be well. And I'll just show you my little dog buddy again. And he's rolling with something he probably shouldn't. Okay, I'll see you later.